Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Harakak, Wadash. Double honors unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole for let. This is the book of John, the 10th chapter, and it reads Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Right? And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and sheep and the sheep follow, follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. All right? So now let me read this point here, this, this verse, and then get into that. This parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. All right? And true to the manner of um, how Yahweh Shai has prophesied to come in the form of speaking parables, he basically was speaking a parable of something that was very familiar unto the people in Jerusalem or uh, Judea at that time, being that um, our forefathers were known for being shepherds. All right, that was that was our well-known um, uh, career path, if you want to call it that. All right, that of being a shepherd. So, as we get into this, is gonna Yahusha is gonna break it down, but more or less the ways he speak what what he's speaking about is him being the shepherd. All right. And those of the fold, the sheep fold, basically being of the elect of the children of Israel. Because there's an election according to grace, all right? The first fruits that were established before the foundation of the earth, they're the elect, all right? And they're the ones that hear his voice. But then as it tells you in the book of Romans, they are not, not all Israel is of Israel. Because there's, there's, if there's an election, a chosen, then there's, some that are not haven't been chosen, all right, and and that just falls to that actually is the greater number. That's why it says many are called and few are chosen, all right. But let's continue to read verse seven. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them again, verily, verily I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, all right. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them, all right. As it was spoke of by Paul in the book of Corinthians, that um, oh, it's escaping me at the moment, but it's um, basically the Lord has sent for the apostles last, all right. And as in this generation, um, being that you know we have the generation of Yahweh Shai being reincarnated in this time, starting with the great men, all right, the high priest um, Abba Bivens, King Marsha. High priest uh, Ariyah, high priest Shaquab, so on and so forth. All right, but the point being is that we had men like uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X. All right, um, that guy they just did a movie on um, recently. Of his name escapes me, but all these various so-called black leaders. All right, and they basically were the ones that. Yahweh Shai is speaking about about the 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 deal the, that those of the fold wouldn't hear them. All right. So let me read on. So it says, verse nine: I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. All right. And that pasture being his truth. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly all right i am the good shepherd and i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep but he that is a hireling and not of not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not see if the wolf come in and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep all right and that's uh these various leaders okay they can be they they likened to a island. A island is just a hide, a hide um, work basically, right for the time. They have no invested interest. It isn't it's not their their business. 
they're just there to collect a check, so to speak, right? And then when they see a great danger, that as far as they're concerned, when they weigh it up in the balances, it's either I defend these sheep that I don't own or I save my life to live another day and get another job. They're going to go with the latter, all right? They're going to go, well, F them sheep, I'm gone, all right? And that's how these leaders are. That's why you have men like uh, General Johanna saying that, um, saying that, um, what did he say? Saying that you should go out there and get the, the Maxine and all these different things, but saying it with a double tongue because in the same breath he's saying, don't, don't, don't listen to the white man and all this type of stuff, all right? But then at the same time, he's telling you to run to him to get the Maxine. And he acknowledged all the all the, the acts of wickedness that Esau's done against uh, our, our people, man. All right? But that's a hireling, all right? That's why it tells you in John 8, the year of your father, the devil, all right? He was a murderer and a robber from the beginning, and the lust of your father will you do. Because they come in that same spirit of Cain, all right? And as we go through this book, you understand that um, the actual the, the Sanhedrin, San, San, Sanhedrin, right? The the hierarchy of um, of Israel, basically, and with the priests and the Pharisees and the wicked uh, priests and Pharisees and all that type of stuff, they basically understood. They knew that that Yahweh Shai was the Lord, but they wanted to keep what they had going on with the Romans, all right? Who are the devil, all right? But anyway, reading on. Verse 13, the highland fleeth because he is a highland and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I am known of mine. All right. So Yahweh is the good shepherd and he knows his sheep and they are, and his sheep basically know him. That's why it says and I am known of mine. All right. They know him. Verse 15, and as the, as the father knoweth me, even so I know the father. So he said the same, he likened the same thing. He said, so... As he said, the father knows me as well, even so I know the father. All right, and that shows you the order. It goes the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai, the man, then the woman, then the child. All right, that's 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 the the authoritative um structure that's been set up by the heavenly father. All right. And even just on that basis, keep this in mind as I read on. And I lay down my life for my for the sheep, and the other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and one shepherd. All right? And that's why I was even spoken in the book of John, the seventh chapter, about that there'll come a time and they'll try and find it, but he won't be there. And they there, she said, will he be, you know, amongst, you know, the, the, the dispersed among the Gentiles, the teacher Gentiles? And that basically happened. That's why you have um, written history dealing with um, Gad and Issachar, where they have the uh, the fiery serpent uh, Quetzalcoatl, all right, and there's another name that escapes me. I'm, I'm a bit rusty on that history, all right, but that's why they know all of that because the Lord went over there to give them the gospel as well. Anyway, reading on. So it says, um, um, verse seventeen. Therefore, doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. Okay, no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Yeah, so the heavenly father gave Yahweh Shai that power. That's why he spoke of that prophecy, because it was ordained by the heavenly father for it to happen in that in that manner. All right. Um, and there was another point I was gonna say. Lay it down. Uh, yeah, that's why even when he was dealing with Pontius Pilate, he basically said, you know, he basically made it known, look, I have a legion that's ready to ride out for me. But if it was, my, you know, if it was my kingdom, my servants would fight, but it's not. He under, he, that's why that power that was given was in accordance to what the Heavenly Father had ordained according to his will. Verse 19, there was a division, of, uh, therefore, again, among the Jews for those sayings. And many of them said, "Ye have a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him?" Others said, "These are not the words of him that have a devil, that hath a devil. Uh, can a devil open the eyes of the blind?" So basically, the Lord, when he came on the scene, he basically lived up 
Total words that were spoke of him about he even said that he came to bring divi division to set a man a variance of those within his household. And those divisions overspilled into the masses of the people, all right? Yeah, some people that was, you know, a lot of people, many were scoffing. But then few said, look, man, the, his works are there, all right, to show that what he's saying is true, all right? But they were blind to it, all right? As it tells you in Matthew 13, Isaiah 6, verse 22, and it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, and it was winter, all right? And that's, this even shows you that, um, you know, that that scripture right there, John 10, 22, basically shows you the validity of the Apocrypha. Because the only place you can find this holiday, um, the holy day, which holiday um, goes back to the word holy day, the only place you can find this holy day is inside where? The Apocrypha, in the book of Maccabees, dealing with the, Maccab you know, uh, the Maccabean family, basically, the dynasty, all right? So that shows you, and Yahweh Shai kept the feast. So that shows you that what it you know that book is is part of um, you know the word. All right, now you have different people trying to add to the word with the book of Enoch and all these. The only book of Enoch, the only thing Enoch is written of, the only things that are written of Enoch that can be found is inside the book, the sixty and eleven, the Bible. All right, the good book. You ain't gonna go get no extra books, all right? It tells you none shall wanna make. And even that, that is not legit, all right? There's many uh, clashes in history within that book, all right? So anyway, reading on, it says, uh, verse 23, and Yahweh Shai walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, how long thou thou make us to doubt, all right? <laughs> And it, it wasn't the Lord that made them to doubt. It was actually it was their own doubt. They didn't have the faith. They didn't have the gift of faith. All right, his act, his works were before them. He did everything. You've never John spoke of him, and he came and done all the acts that were spoke of him, and he did great things that were never seen before. All right, if thou be the anointed, tell us plainly. Yahweh shall answer them. I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Simple as that, plain and simple, cut and dry. But ye believe it not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. And that's really where it is. All right, he 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 laid it out, and said, "There's, listen, I am of, the, listen, I'm here for the, uh, for the loss that w which was lost. Um, it's in the book of Matthew's man. It's in the, and Luke. Uh, the the son of man came come to save that which was lost. All right, because what." We couldn't keep the first covenant, all right? We always fell short. That's why the curses written inside of the word always came into effect any time we were in rulership. Now, what you had back then in the, in the, in the state of Judea, mind you, all right, going even back what was really the Greco-Roman um, period uh, of going from Hellenization to the Romanization of the world, all right, but what it was, was Judah, the kingdom of Judah became a vassal state, all right, onto the Greco-Roman Empire. So they were slaves, ultimately, all right, but they were blind, all right? They didn't, they, they more yet, more so, it's not that they were blind, they understood what they did. Just go to the book of Maccabees, the first chapter, it tells you that, all right, that lewd fellows of the nation went and made a covenant round about with the heathen, all right? So they just didn't care. But, the, but Yahweh Shai was come to do what? To reconcile us back unto the Heavenly Father so we would have our dominion, the kingdom being established that was was uh, ordained unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, all right? But basically, they didn't believe in that. They they were after the lust of the act, lust of the flesh, basically. They were of this world. So anyway, uh, let me read that again. Uh, verse 26, But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you, yeah, he was only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right? Um, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, all right? Because that's what it comes with. How is that? And even that is, you know, there's a lot to that, because this is, Yahweh Shai is the second Adam, all right? And him being, the, he's basically, the, the, the first Adam was, I always forget, 
this, but it says the second is made a quickening spirit. All right. So Yahweh Shai, being the second Adam, because he was the first Adam, was made to do away with what? Death. Because death came into the world by way of Eve, all right, the woman, all right. Whereas man was made to be immortal from the beginning, all right. But mortality basically means death, all right. So anyway, that's why it says, um, and I give unto them eternal life, all right, because he's basically making them immortal as far as they can keep the law, statutes, and commandments of, of the Heavenly Father. And they shall never perish, never die, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's right, because they're going to be aligned with this word, and there's nothing, even in death, they can't be separated from the Heavenly Father. So this is my uh, free hour shy, all right? My father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. And that's that's where it is. The elect, like I said, nothing can separate the elect from Yahweh Barsham, Yahweh Shai, Barsham, Now verse 30 says, I and my father are one, all right? And that's the point where I wanted to hold to that I mentioned before, dealing with the fact that the Lord said that the sheep know the shepherd as the shepherd knows the sheep and the shepherd knows um the the most high knows the shepherd all right as the shepherd and the shepherd knows him the most high yeah all right but it's the point it says i am my father and one okay so you have this scripture people will pull it out and say well this shows you that the Lord and the Most High are, are one, all right? And they'll, they'll talk about the Holy Trinity madness. But then he also said the same thing dealing with the, the fold, the sheepfold. So you saying that the Holy Trinity now in, encompasses as well, those are, the, those are the sheep, those are the fold as well. It can't be, all right? You all understand what, what's being said. He's talking about them having one mind. Just go to the book of Ephesians, Ephesians the fourth chapter, all right? Read from verse 1, I believe the points in like verse 4, and it will just outline it all there before you, all right? How it's all, everything works in unison, all right? Through the Holy Spirit. Raka Kwadash, all right? So anyway, reading on, it says, verse 31, Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Yahweh shall answer them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? Jews answered him, saying, for good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, right? And this is what they were, they were banking on, finding sight where, you know, he slipped up with his words so they can, you know, make a mountain out of, out of an anthill, basically, all right? So it says, and because that thou being a man makest thyself uh, a power, Yahweh shall answer them, is not it written in your law? I said that ye are gods, all right? Ye are powers. If he called them gods or powers unto whom the, the word of the Most High came and the scripture cannot be broken, all right, say ye of him whom the Father have sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest because I said I am the Son of the Most High. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not, all right, but that, and that's it. He is, it's, it can be seen that he is the Son of the Heavenly Father and he, not any ordinary son, the only begotten son of the most high power, all right, he's first born, he's only born, who made everything after after that, all right, in accordance with the will of the heavenly father, verse 38, but if I do, thou, uh, if I do, thou, though ye believe not me, believe the works, and said, look, whatever I do, don't, if you ain't gonna hear what I say, just look at what I do, all right, actions speak louder than words. That that will let you know who I am. All right, that ye may know and believe. All right, that the Father is in me. All right, the Heavenly Father is, is in Him, being that He's everything that, that He does is is sanctified through the Heavenly Father. All right, not literally because the Heavenly Father, even though He has a heavy portion of the Heavenly Father, He He look His express image of the Heavenly Father, but more so that. He is a separate entity to the Heavenly Father, but in him, through the Spirit, and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, all right? And why did he escape out of their hand that time? Even though he said before, and that's you keep it in mind, they had power to give his life at any time, 
and he lays his life. The reason why he escaped because his time wasn't ordained at that moment. All right, there was other things, that other uh, acts that had to be fulfilled, and different things that had to be pushed forward before his time of calling. All right, and that wasn't the manner in which it was written for him to pass. All right, and to make his return, and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized. And he and there he abode, and many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true, and many believed on him there. So it's the spirit that the same place where he sanctified and the spirit came and ascended on him in the shape of a dove, dove, so like a dove all right. And basically, you heard the words from heaven about him being the anointed, all right. They had many people come unto him and, and they believed on him, all right, through the Spirit. So with that, I pray you are edified. Till the next one, I say shalom. Shalom.